Hello everybody. Um, it's almost Christmas. It's a little bit later than I wanted it to be before I got my uh, Christmas home tour done, but you know, life happens and you don't get things done as quick as you want to sometimes. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do it today and I'm kind of excited about it. I didn't do uh, quite as much everywhere like I did last year. Um, if you want to go back and watch last year's um, I'll try to link it below um, if you want to watch last year's too. Uh, but I did, but I do a lot of things that don't necessarily look like um, Christmas decorations, but it takes time to do them. Like the curtains in the kitchen, I made those so that they would match the theme on my Christmas tree. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff takes time. So I hope you uh, enjoy watching my home tour and um, get yourself a hot chocolate. I have one here. I have one of these little cookie guys that sits on the side of my cup, which they taste like those cookies that you get in a tin, you know, uh, with the Thomas Kincaid type of picture on the top. But anyway, um, it's kind of cute sitting on the edge of my cup. I just like him being there. It makes me feel happy. And... Um, uh, let's see. We're going to start in the kitchen like I usually do for my home tours. And if you have any questions or if I don't say where I got something and you want to know, just put it in the comments and I'll get back to you. All right, let's do it. Okay, so um, this picture on the wall, I saw it this year at actually at Dollar General. And I really liked it because my theme in my kitchen is um, buildings and houses this year. So I really like that. I like how muted the wreath is above the door. And it, I don't know, just reminds me of when we used to live in Eastford, Connecticut. Um, I don't know if you live in Eastford or know Eastford, then maybe you'll see what I mean. Okay, so I made these curtains um, so that they would match the ribbon that I have on the on the tree this year because I like to do little ribbons hanging all over. Not necessarily always as a garland, but just like instead of tinsel or that sort of thing, having it just um, be hooked onto the branches and stuff. And I did a uh, video on these little stone looking kind of paper houses. I did a video on how to make those. It's really easy and um, I, you know, I really like how they look. Uh, if let me see if I can get close to one here without tipping you over. Can you see the sparkles on the roof? Like with the lights on the tree um, in real life, it looks really, really pretty. And this plate right here, the serving plate, it's kind of big. It's hard to tell in this picture, but um, I went to Salvation Army one day and they had this whole set. It had a like a big punch bowl and a couple other things. And this this went with it, but it had teddy bears on all of the other ones. And this is the only piece that didn't have teddy bears with the log cabin. So I'm like, yes, I'll take that piece. Um, this salt and pepper shaker also, I think I picked those either up at the consignment shop or at Salvation Army. This one has like a little bit of uh, where the gold is wearing off, but I don't care. They're really heavy and, um, you know, little Santa salt and pepper shakers. I probably won't use them, but... I like to use have them for decoration. Um, so there's the tree. And then I have some, um, one of these jars that you can find lots of places. And I just put my lemons inside of there. Thought that might look kind of cute this year. And um, I like wooden bowls. I have all kinds of wooden bowls. So I put the coasters in there and then I have these plates that actually I got these last year from from Target and I still like them so I thought I would use those two in here again this year and over here is this side of the tree well, it's not a very big tree that's it's probably four feet um, this ornament right here I've had for a long time I got it at Cracker Barrel see it looks like the outside of the Cracker Barrel super cute I love that. And um, there's some putts houses on here that I made. Let's see here. Let's, um, and then let's go over here. I have hanging on the wall three of these um, Courier and Ives plates. Uh, my husband's mom, Brenda, actually had two of those and she passed away a couple years ago. Um, 
so the, some of her Christmas stuff I got and um, I wanted one more because I had three spots to hang things on this wall and I went to uh, the consignment shop in Brooklyn, Connecticut, and actually they had another one that went with the set. Even the, see the, even the trim on the around the outside edge, they all match. Um, let me see. I think this one in the middle, this is the one I found at the consignment shop. It has a little little scratch right there, but I don't care. It matches perfectly with the other two. And I have some little wreaths up here above the refrigerator. Um, and then I did a little ribbons on it so that it would match the curtains. And over here on my chalkboard, I put three trees and one of them I decorated with tinsel and um, some pom-poms. And I made, these are my curtains. These are the ones I usually have in the kitchen and I just tore the bows off of them. I got these curtains from Target and I made bows that matched my other curtains. Um, for this for this window also on the door and I have my um, sled here by the door with the ice skates that I made last year I did a tutorial on how to do these so that they look like they're painted ice skates and I still really like how they look this year after I dug them out of the basement with my Christmas decorations I was hoping that they would hold up and they did so okay make you dizzy and over here is our coffee and hot chocolate area. I hung my Santa mugs in the back and um, this cookie jar that looks like a house um, used to be my mother-in-law's so I like to use it. It has the K cups in it and then I got some hot chocolate in one and those cookies um, that I had on the outside of my hot chocolate on the other and here's another one of those uh, trees with um, some peppermints in it and the snowman has marshmallows and up here you can't really see the light on right now it's got a blue light up there but they're battery operated on this little section um, above my cabinets I'm gonna try to figure out how to get some electricity up there so I can have better lights on this side because it's always an issue um, that those lights don't show up but I did a little house on this shelf up here with a little tree I think that's cute and I hung a stocking on my anchor there's also a uh, snowflake in the window there, but I have my curtains shut right now because the sun is coming through there in a vicious kind of way. So, okay. So up here above the cabinets, I did houses above my cabinets again this year. Um, last year when I did my home tour, all my cabinets were brown except for one, if you wanted to go back and check that out. But my idea with this this year is um, I have the blue lights up there. I don't know if it's coming off blue or purple on the camera, but um, inside the houses it has white lights and then the rest of the lights are blue. So I wanted it to kind of look like a, a, you know, a night sky. You know how when it snows you get like that blue glow from the moon. So here's the other side of my cabinets. I did houses all the way down. And um, it's got the snowflakes hanging from the ceiling and in the background, and they're all, they're glittered. Um, but that's, that was my idea. I wanted it to look uh, like a frosty, cold night. Here on top of my microwave, there's my hot chocolate. But, oh, this hot mat, I had some fabric left over from where I made my curtains. So I did a, a liner on the inside, and it's got clove, um, allspice, and cinnamon. And um, when you put something hot on it, you can smell it like a, you know, like an air freshener. Um, I'm, I'm going to make some more of those. I really like how that turned out. Um, I have a Christmas cookie book. And then this is one that we've read um, to all three of our kids growing up, the um, 12 Days of Christmas. And everybody always seems to enjoy that one. So I like to set it out as a memory. And I put some shelves up behind my stove. Um... These are, these are candles that I found at Salvation Army of little houses. I thought that was kind of cool. And they have little wreaths and stuff on the doors. And let's see, over here, not too much. All my cords right there. You know, it's hard to get rid of some of the cords when you got your phones and everything else. But I put a couple little houses right there um, in the corner with the cutting boards and a little cheese serving area that we have. 
And okay. Oh, over here in this corner, I have one of these lantern things. It's got a house in it, so it matches the kitchen theme. And then I dried a bunch of oranges this year, so I have some of those in there. And these are the apple ornaments. I always have those. These I love these things. I didn't see those in the store this year, but last year I bought several of them. So that if I wanted to give wine as a gift, I could to make your wine look like a Santa. And here's a picture of my husband's mom when she was younger. Happy holiday sign above the door. Some mistletoe. We've had and we've had this thing right here um, since you know my oldest daughter. She's 22, so we've had this since she was really little, so that you can move the the days up to Christmas. Okay, so getting into my dining room, I have this old board. This was uh, another thing that was at my father and mother-in-law's house. I found those little uh, barns a long time ago that say Christmas, so I put those up there. My china cabinet has all of my uh, Santa Clauses in it because I have a pretty decent sized Santa collection. And then this little tree has the Santa lights on it. This little guy, I found him this year. He's two pieces. He's so cute. But I thought he was cute sitting on top of the ice cream bucket. <laughs> Those are, these little Santa heads are, um, they go on lights. There's a really old guy back there. See him in the, in the cup. And then that Santa right there, he's a, uh, he's a candle. And then, let's see. Oh, this one right here, right here, is a music box. He opens up and a little train goes around the Christmas tree. He's really cute. Maybe next year I'll take time to do a, uh, you know, just showing my collections. And then I have two of these. I had three, but one, one of them was broken when I found them. So um, I got my eyes open, waiting to find the third one that I can buy somewhere. Maybe somebody else broke both, but the one that I had, that I need, um, this little guy back here, he's not the, he's not the most beautiful Santa, but he's got that that pot thing in front of him and I put a tree in it. Oh, this one down here. Can you see that? Let me open it. Him. He's a big planter. Over here, this one, this one's pretty old. I can't remember what year. I looked him up. I can't remember what year he was from, but he jingles his bell, shakes it. And then I found these guys, their little tree ornaments. They have little hooks on the top of their heads. And then I have some stuff hanging up here too. And then I put some of my oranges up there and the peppermint lights and some candy cane ornaments. And one of those trees with the balls, I found that at... A consignment shop last year. And this little Santa bell hanging there. And then I just found this guy right here for a dollar at um, the consignment shop in Brooklyn, Connecticut yesterday. He's missing his belt, but he's from the 50s. Dollar. I found these two. These were, it's funny that that was a dollar and I paid 50 cents for these. And then got an old stocking here. This is Noel. This mirror right here, I really like how it looks. I got it at Frankly Toys and Antiques this year. I went in there when it was closer to my birthday and bought that. And this um, is an old uh, cooler, and I made a wreath out of uh, co coffee filters. I hung on the side of it. And stuck some um, flowers down in there. And over here this year, instead of doing my uh, all antique ornaments on it, I did uh, my food tree in here. It's the dining room, so I figured that would still work. 
um, that Santa I got him last year. I think I talked about him in one of my videos where he was really nasty looking when I got him. He was so dirty. And I repainted him and cleaned him really good. And I think he came out pretty nice. Those are um, Mr. and Mrs. Claus candles down there. And I actually found Mr. and Mrs. Claus candle holders too at a, at a separate time. So I got all kinds of food ornaments on here. We got tacos and burritos and, you know, Japanese food and, you know, all kinds of stuff. And this um, church, I found it a long time ago um, at Salvation Army. It lights up. I don't know how well you can see that, but the stained glass windows light up in it. I really love it. And um, this one, I got this tree. I got it at one of the consignment shops um, a long time ago before everybody was, you know, into having them again. They used to be popular in the 80s, and then they kind of died off for a while, and then they then they've become popular again. And um, this white one, I got it at Scranton Shops um, for, about five years ago. I really like it. I think it's super pretty. I like the color of the, uh, the um, bulbs on it. And um, I found this. I had been wanting one of those to hold cards for a long time. And one day I went into Salvation Army and it was in there. It's like nobody, it's weird because I never see those in the store. And... I got it, and then I had, I already had this postcard, which is in Connecticut, where, you know, in the area where we live, it's a postcard picture of a, you know, a farm, and um, my husband went, like, close to my birthday to the antique store, and he found all of these other ones for me, because he knows that I love that sort of thing, and it's so nice, because you can read the back of it, and the sentiments that people sent to their family members and stuff are still on there. Um, this is our Advent. I plan on doing a video uh, so that you can see, but it's getting kind of late now. But somebody might still be interested if they. What I did is I found this at Michael's last year on clearance, and I painted it. See over here on the side's not finished yet. That's where I was going to finish making my video, but I haven't haven't gotten back to it yet. Um, up here, on I got this little shelf. It's got some neat things on it little book that bird I found that at Hallmark this year I think he's cute can you see him the lighting's kind of it's hard to see over here because it's so bright outside and then some more of those uh Christmas candles and I made I made that um nesting doll out of felting I'm getting hung up in my jade plant sorry and um those are little duck Christmas candles a little nutcracker and this cardinal I found it last year at um, the Christmas barn in Woodstock Connecticut I put a garland above my window and here's our tree that has all of our um, sentimental family ornaments and stuff on it over the years it's pretty packed full <laughs> I know some people don't like to have so many ornaments on a tree but if your ornaments on your tree don't mean anything to you, it's like, I don't know. That's why you got to have more than one tree. Because you can have a tree that all of the ornaments mean something to you and then have other trees that are just for style. But I really like all of the stuff that we have on our trees. See, there's lots of ornaments on here that are like when my kids are growing up things usually I don't have this the tree in front of this this window um, here's my husband's music area he's got Elvis up there Elvis Christmas and then there's a mouse that I made another mouse that I made over here by the lamp there's not too much on the shelf this is mostly his music stuff another one of those garlands above the window I did a little Charlie Brown scene there while he's not home. I'll take that away before he gets back because he doesn't want anything on top of his new stereo, which is pretty cool looking. Um, 
this little cookie jar um, a friend of mine Tom Sinat gave it to me a long time ago he's passed since he was an older man that I used to work with this is a uh, tea light burner my son got it for me for my birthday got some nuts and ooh, I'm sorry and some uh, this candle I really like how it looks I got it at um, big lots this year but see on the lid it's got the deer I haven't lit it yet because I like it I don't want to ruin it <laughs> okay right here around the corner this is something different I've done this year I have lots of nesting dolls so I did this shelf with um, several different sets of nesting dolls and I think that's really cute I like how that turned out down here at the bottom of this I have my my um you know what do you call those the carolers that those were my mother-in-law's all my curtains I did um, snowflakes hanging down in here this year instead of garlands above it all the way around Let's see all three windows have that and we got puppies sleeping. Oop, there's Bean. And there's Cooper. It's, you know, resting time. And on the coffee table, I have this teapot used to be my mother-in-law's. So I made like a little pipe cleaner coming out with steam. And then the cup. And then um, for my father-in-law, I put one of his pipes out with the smoke coming out of the pipe. The candle holder I found that at Salvation Army. I was pretty excited about that. I like how that looks. I don't know if it's supposed to be a candle holder, but that's how I'm using it. This tree is ugly, <laughs> but I love it. I think somebody made it, and I found it and rescued it. These are old canes that my grandfather made when he used to work at the glass factory. See, they're pretty long. They're kind of fragile too. My mom, my mom gave these to me. We always had them hanging on our curtains in our living room. So I have some hanging there on the curtains and some on the side of my um, coat closet. Put some trees on top of that picnic basket. And this old Santa, I showed him in my my Christmas um, haul. Found him at a yard sale. And up on top of the cabinet, back up a little bit, I put my my quilts that people have made me over the years. The top one was my grandmother, middle one was my grandmother, and the yellow yellow one was my mom, and the bottom one was my grandmother. The one on my couch was my mom. A little Christmas here on the uh, door. And here's my barnwood santa that i painted and my um vintage ornament wreath i really like making these and over here um i like this this year um let's see how bad is the lighting let's see if i can get in here this was gold when I found it, this tree, and I painted it black, a matte black, and then I hung a bunch of vintage ornaments on it and stuff. A lot of these vintage ornaments my mom gave me, look at this one, it's super thin. And this tray is a tray that I found at Habitat for Humanity. And they were trying to get rid of some stuff that they used as decor. And it was only a dollar. It's made in Italy. And this little box right here I found at a separate, t separate time. Actually, I found it a couple weeks ago. And it has the same pattern on it as the tray. So I put, some, put it next to it and put some trees in it. And then this is um, our needlepoint print that we found at an estate sale and then we have another Christmas or wintery scene here piece of art and then up the stairs we're not going to do upstairs today but 
Um, I have a little tiny tree on top of the table up there, and then all the way down the stairs I have um, nutcrackers. The big guys at the bottom. And then on my railing I have, let's see, get back so you can see, these beaded snowflakes. Those are so nice, and I got them on clearance at the Christmas tree shop for like a dollar each um, last year. I had bought a few when they weren't on clearance. I think they were like five or six dollars when they weren't on clearance, but I bought, I don't know, I've got like five or six of them. And then these, these Christmas balls are ones that my grandmother made and they have pictures of family members on them. And, um, let's see, this one right there. That's, I think that's my grandmother in this picture. It's hard for me to tell looking through the camera, but I thought it would be nice to put those on my railing because the stockings that I have hung here, my grandmother made out of old quilt. So I have um, one for my husband and I and my two kids that still live with us. These aren't the stockings that I feel for Christmas, but um, these are just ones I use for decoration. And then um, I have two other ones up here that Brian's mom actually made. Um, so I have one for my dog Cooper and one for my dog Bean to go with the others. And here's... One of those snow globes that my husband got me last year for my birthday and a sparkly tree i really like those sparkly trees it looks good sitting next to the snow globe making it shimmer and then i've got some little nutcrackers there under the tv i've got the fire going and this cloche is full of um, wooden nutcrackers because I didn't use them on my trees this year. So, And then this tree is my um, silver tree and it has all of my really bright ornaments on it and shiny brights and that sort of thing. And some of them aren't old, but some of them are just made to look old. Like, look, look at this. This is cute. I think he came from Walmart last year. Where am I? but I think he's super cute. But look at this one. This one came in some of the stuff that my mom and dad gave me, some of my ornaments, but that one's really old. His tail's broken a little bit, but I'm surprised that he survived this long. And then see, there's some of the berries and the, the bell. There's lots of really old ornaments on here. Some of them aren't old, though. Some, so I mix in, like, this garland. I got that at the Christmas tree shop, but I think it adds a lot to the um, color on the tree. But I like having this one in the living room because it's. I really enjoy sitting here at nighttime crafting or watching TV with my husband and having this one on with the, with the light that it puts off. And at the top of it, I did some of these crazy beaded things that you can get at Walmart, and then one of those spiky ornaments. I think that came from, I think it came from Michael's. But at the bottom of this tree, I put some of my boxes of ornaments that I haven't used, but I like, that I haven't opened. And there's my picture of my grandmother and me when I was really little, sitting in front of her tree. Look at this one. Can you see? It's got like another ornament on the inside of it that's all spiky. I just love the ornaments on this tree. And here's the uh, one that my mom gave me in some stuff. It's It's got the spinner on the inside of it where the old lights that you used to use a long time ago put off a lot of heat and you would put it next to... Um, the heat and it would make it spin and then I have snowflakes these are from Walmart this year hanging up in my corners I'll show you there's one and there's one and over in that corner is one I like to hang things up there and then I put some of those 
wooden trees that you can get from Target. I put some of those up on my clock just to add a little Christmas flare up there. And these bells, I don't know where they came from originally, but they kind of match um, the uh, candle holder that I have on my table. And this is my Abe Lincoln area because my Abe Lincoln picture is always up there that my husband has. We got the oil lamp. And then I found this cologne at one point that had Abe Lincoln on it. And then you got some books there. And then I did this little tiny tree next to my Abe area. And it's got um, red, white, and blue ribbon on it and mittens. And I think there's a couple winter hats or end stockings on there too. But they're all crocheted. On the front of this cabinet, I have some bells that um, we found at Target this year. I think they're cute. So here on my table, um, this is the smaller table that we're using right now because we sold our bigger table, but it works better so that my husband can have the area at the other end of the dining room over there for his music and he can sit there and listen to music and relax because he works really hard and he deserves to have a space where he can relax and be left alone <laughs> like everybody deserves. And, um, you know, I have my, I have a craft room, so I can go in there and do my own thing. He doesn't have a craft room, nor does he want one. But, um, this, this candle, um, Santa Claus and reindeer I got from my grandmother this year. My, we were there visiting in the summer and, uh, we were, you know, her house is like a store. I'm not even exaggerating, but, uh, uh, we were looking around and my husband found this and he goes, Heather. He goes, look at this. And my grandmother told me, told me to take it. She said, just take that. She goes, if you, if you like it, she said, just take it. And I love this thing so much. Look at it. It's so pretty. And it really does kind of match the, um, the, um, candle holders that I have over here with the bells because they're both metal and they're both in the same color palette. So. I have some bells hanging on my craft room door. We don't need to go in there. Right now it's, you don't want to go in there. Um, so I have some lights on this jar outside of the bathroom door. And there's a Santa here hanging on the basement door. Okay, we're going to go into the bathroom. I'm going to show you in here real quick. Okay, let me turn the light on for you. Turn the more light. There we go. Okay, so up here. Um, every year at TJ Maxx, I buy a new soap. So that's the soap I bought this year, and it came with this um, Santa's key on it. So I took the key and hung it on this little shelf knob, and then I have that soap there. And then I don't know if you can see that soap. Um, it's got Santa's face on it. They're very detailed soaps. And here's the here's the back of it. Um, a friend of my husband's, Dan. He's my friend too. His sister lives in Puerto Rico and she makes these soaps and she makes them out of things that she um, gets from the actual, from Puerto Rico. They're all, you know, natural to Puerto Rico. This is my, um, I made this tree one day because I needed somewhere to put all of my Christmas pins. So I made this tree so I could hang it on the wall in here. And um, when Christmas is over, I think I can just take the pins off and leave the tree there for a while. But I love how this turned out. Um, at the top of the tree is where I have the snowflake that I'm actually wearing today. That's where it goes. Here's some more of those um, jars that I have. And um, I have some cotton balls and Q-tips in them. Here's where I keep some of my little Christmas jewelry that I wear for right now. Um, there's no need for me to put it in my jewelry box because every day I wear something different. And then I made this soap. I decoupaged... Um, on a bar of soap it came out really cute can you see the shimmer I put a little bit of glitter on it too and that's a um, vintage box I found that at an antique store so I put some trees in it and some more of those balls that's an old tin not old old but you know probably 25 years old um, from Crabtree and Evelyn my, my mother-in-law used to work there and that cup is from Crabtree right next to it that's blue with a tree in it and these little things are from Crabtree also. And down here at the bottom, I put some um, 
snowmen that my mom gave me this year with some lights down there. And then this snowman used to be my brother-in-law Arts, and he gave it to me. It's metal. It's kind of cute. And then above my curtain, I have the trees. I'm, I did a video on how to make these, and it's got the vintage balls in between the uh, trees or above the curtain. And here I have another one of those trees, bottle brush tree. My towels with snowmen and my, um, can you see my toilet paper? My toilet paper stack is a snowman. And the shower curtain, I've had it for a couple years, but I did add this year. These bells came from, um, I think, I think it was Walmart. I got these bells. They were all in one container. So I added ribbon, buffalo check ribbon at the top and hung the bells from the shower curtain. And then I've got a tree here. It's hard to see with the lights on, but it has red lights on it and a little um, star at the top of it my mom gave me. And that's where I normally have my makeup brushes, but they're not in there right now. Um, and I decoupaged Santa on that. I got the container actually from um, Dollar Tree. And here's a couple years ago. That's one of the soaps from um, TJ Maxx. See, it looks like a snow globe and it actually moves. And there's another one. That one has a snowflake on it. And over here I have this little shelf with another bottle brush tree and an old picture of my mom and dad and grandparents, grandmother and great grandparents. And then there's another one of those um, TJ Maxx soaps. I don't use them. I just like to have a new one every year. And that is the wallflower from last year. Cast the Merry Christmas. Oh, I have this little... Um, snowman dish next to my sink so that I can put ring my rings in there when I wash my hands and the Christmas towels and rug and that is the downstairs bathroom oh I did have one have something else I wanted to show you in here let me circle back around let's shut the door I found at the um consignment shop in brooklyn connecticut at the church this old-fashioned nightgown that's red velvety so so i've got it and i hung a santa necklace on it and put a santa hat above it so this is like mrs claus's dressing area and i found this bag at the same time it looks like a scandinavian design and it has um, pom-poms at the bottom of it. So I added that there too. Ooh, look, she's coming to see what we're doing. Hi, Bean. Hi, Bean. So let's go out. Do a... Scan of the whole room. Let's see if I missed anything. I don't think I did. I think I got everything. So. Hey. So, um, that was my, um, 2021 Christmas home tour. I hope you guys all really liked everything that I did. Um, if you go back and look at last year's, you'll see that I had more stuff out last year, but, um, you know, my husband having his spot over in the dining room over there uh, makes it so that my tree and, it's, you know, things are just a little bit different. So I couldn't have 
all of the stuff that I would normally have. I didn't have it out this year and I kind of am enjoying having it not feel real, real super cluttery this year. Cause sometimes um, when you have too much stuff out, it does get a little bit hard to keep everything tidy in your house and make everything feel comfortable. And I'm kind of this year, I'm kind of like wanting to have it be cozy and comfortable and not a lot of maintenance for me to keep up with, um, until after Christmas, you know, I'm just, you know, and it's just different this year, which is okay. Um, but I know next year I definitely am going to go back to having my old fashioned tree in the dining room and my food tree in the kitchen, because I can tell you, um, I, I liked it better that way. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that's that's it. If you have anything that you want to ask me where I got, because I didn't mention where I got it, most of the stuff I get is not new. Most of it does come from consignment shops or flea markets or, you know, Salvation Army or somewhere like that. So, but I can look on the back and see if there's tags and let you know what I can what I can find out for you. But anyway, um, I get my hair stuck out of my earring. Um, if if you uh, have any questions, let me know. And um, if you like my video, just give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And I have more videos that I'm going to be doing and um, getting out for you. I'm not consistent. I don't do every week yet. But eventually, I hope to be able to do a video every week and get it uploaded. Um, you know, for me, it, it's hard to... Uh, uh, the editing and stuff, I'm not great at it yet, but I'm getting better. And just be patient with me, because I will get there. Um, so, like and subscribe, and uh, please, please comment below, because I like having the comments. But anyway, I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas, and I hope your New Year's awesome. And, you know, just enjoy yourselves, and don't let the world, you know, get the best of you right now. Alright? And... Thank you guys for watching. Bye.